table, practice problem five. Problem five reads, on 6 July 1983, at 18.30, DST, ZD plus four, this is daylight savings time, what will be the predicted height of tide at Newburgh, New York? Good enough, let's go. 6 July, 18.30, DST, 18.30, Daylight savings time, the height of tide, the height at Newburgh, New York. Newburgh, one word, and why. So on, July, on the 6th of July at 1830, daylight savings time, what is the height of tide at Newburgh, New York? We'll get this problem all set up because we know that we're going to go into the index find this and right away we're going to get a reference station and then we're going to get differences and what differences are we going to get we're going to get time differences of the high and the low and we're going to get height differences of the high and the low okay we're all set up we have information from the problem Let's go into the index, index stations. We're looking for Newberg. So we're going to N, L, M, N, M, N, O, N, E, Newberg, one word. So here's all the news, but we're one word, so we're new work, Newberg. There we are. Newburgh, NY, 1545. Newburgh is 1545. All right, we took note of that. Don't get it confused with your time. Now let's go towards the beginning of the book. So towards the front of table twos. And once they appear, here's our numbers. 1545, 24, 19, 17, 1533. Okay, we're close. 1545. There we are. 1545, Newburgh. Our reference station. On New York, page 56. New York, page 56. And now let's get our differences. So plus 342, whoa. Plus 342, plus 4. These are big time corrections. And it's a DST. We're going to add another hour. Monster time connect corrections. Okay, and now our height of the high is minus 1.5, minus 1.5, and plus 0.2, plus 0 0.2. Okay, now let's flip. We need to find our reference station. So we're going to flip into the book towards the beginning. And find page 56. Writing all this stuff down is, you have to. There's just too much to keep track of. 58, 54, 55, 56. Okay, now we're at New York. Battery. Cool. And we're looking for July 6th. So... January, February, March, April, May, June, July. July 6th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, this one, this one might be a little tricky. Our time corrections are humongous, right? What's the time corrections? 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 0 is 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. 442 is our high water time correction and 0, 0 plus 
five is our low water. So 1830, where is this going to be? Where will we be? 1830, we're going to be between 1644 is a high, but that 1644 is going to end up a high water. It's going to end up like 2130. Okay, so we know that's going to be the upper boundary. This 1644, we're working with 1030 and 1644, once the time correction is considered. So 1030, and that's um, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and 1644 is 5.0. 1644 is 5.0. Good. Now we can start crunching our numbers up. Okay, let's do our heights first. So low water is 4. High water is 5. So we... For our low, we're going to be 0.2 feet higher than what we are here. So this is 0 0.6. And for our height, we're going to be 1.5 lower than this 5. So we're going to be 3.5. I just did that in my head. And you can check because 3.5 plus 1.5 will get us to 5. Good. So that's the difference between the two. Now the range which we will need to enter table three, the range of this tide is going to be 3.5 minus 0 0.6. So what's that? We're going to borrow 2, 15, that's 9. 2.9 feet is the range of our tide. Just kind of double check that. 2.9 plus... 0.6, yeah, we'll get us there. Okay, well now let's figure out, here's our time for the high correction and time for the low correction. So the low is 1030. And the high is 1644. Good, and we're adding these, so that makes it a little bit easier. So 2 and 4 is 6. 4 and 4 is 8, 4 and 6 is 10, carry the 1, 1, 2, so 20, 86, we can't have 86 minutes, let's grab, sub, take 60 of those and add 1 hour, so we're at 21, and 86 minus 60 is 26, 21, 26, now we'll add these, 0, 3, 1530. Okay, well, we need to find the duration of this tide. Duration equals 2126 minus 1530. Okay, well, we can't take 30 from 26. We're going to borrow 0. And this would end up being 86, right? Because 60 plus 26. It's going to end up being 86. 6 minus 0 is 6. 8, 5, 8, 7, 6, 5. Can't take 5. We're going to borrow. Turn that to a 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 hours and 56 minutes is the duration. Next, we need to figure out time from nearest. So what is the time from nearest, high or low? And which one is it closer to? So we're at 1830, and we have 1530 and 2126. This is a close one. But we can check it out. See, 556 is the duration. If we're more, if we figure out how far we are from here, and we're more than half of this, we know it's going to be the other one. So 1830 from 1530, that's straightforward. 15, 
16, 17, 18. That is three hours even, which is more than half. So we know it's going to be the high from nearest high. And now from the nearest high, so 2126, 2126 minus 1830. Oh, we can't take 30 from 26, so we're going to borrow. That will become a 0. And this will become 86 again. 6 minus 0 is 6. 8, 7, 6, 5. So we can't take 8, eight from 0, so we're going to borrow. That will be a 10 minus 8 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. Two hours and 56 minutes from the nearest max tide, which is a high in this case. That's a close one. Okay, now we can jump into table three. See what that gives us. Table three. And the corner's bent over so I can find it on page 239 pretty easily. We jump in from the left side up top at duration of rise or fall. Our duration was 556. 556 was very close to 6. Okay. And now we come across it. Time from the nearest high or low water. We are 256. That's a lot. 256 is basically it's closest to three so we're all the way here on the end so we come down i'm going to get another straight edge and we come down and we need to come in at range of tide our range 2.9 so if we come in at 2.9 that's pretty much three we're looking at this 1.5. Record that. 1.5. Now, what do we do with 1.5, right? We are closest to high tide. That means this will be subtracted from our high. So our high is 3.5. So it'll be 3.5 minus from table 3, 1.5 from table 3, 5 minus 5 is 0, 3 minus 1 is 2. We are getting 2 feet is the height of the tide at 6 July, 1830, daylight savings time at Newburgh, New York. Let's check. Here we do have a 2. 2 feet. 5 is D is what we're seeing. Yeah, 5 is D. We got this one right. Take your time on these. You might have to redo them sometimes. Time, especially subtracting time. It, it's kind of a chore. It's kind of a chore. Your calculator doesn't really work on it very well. And um, yeah, take your time, no pun intended, and you'll get through these. Just get the steps right.